What is Jimmy Garoppolo's worst quality? The way he throws the ball. And when I, <laughs> that sounds really, that's really broad. But what I mean by that is the fact that he throws it without his legs really so much that he doesn't really have the ability to drive the ball in there. That's why you see the ball float on him so much. He doesn't, he's a very uh, top half thrower. He doesn't really use his legs enough. That's true. Um, I'm going to go back to his temperament. And I think it's kind of similar with his best quality, the way he's so kind of like, uh, you know, the way he kind of goes with the flow and is a good, a good soldier. Mm-hmm. I think on the other way is like, how much does he care? That's the way I think. I mean, he makes the same mistakes all the time and gives the, you know, and smiles. Like <laughs> he'll have, he'll have a, a day where he throw a pick in, in camp and he threw a pick the day before. And then afterwards he'll talk to the media and he saw smiles and you'll be like, Hey Jimmy, like what, what happened on that throw where you, when you got picked and he'll be like, Oh, you know, it's, you know, working through things in camp. But, and then you say, well, how do you think you're playing in camp? Oh, I think I'm doing really well. And I just, I wonder like how, not that he doesn't, how much does he care? Because again, I grew up with Steve Young and Jeff Garcia. Those guys were fiery and you could watch it. You could see it anytime they're on the field. If it meant everything to them, everything. Mm -hmm. And if they didn't play well, they were pissed. I remember I was like, what? They just won this. No, they were. What year was it when they lost big to the Eagles week two and Steve Young got benched? What year was that was that? Their super, the Super Bowl 94. year in 94. Okay. So I was five. I was like, I was like freaking six years old. And I remember we were, I think, Santa Cruz. My brother had just, uh, he was 18. He'd gone to Santa Cruz and we were on the boardwalk. And I just caught the, the glimpse of the Niners down big. I was like, wow, I didn't think the Niners lost. And I remember looking at Steve Young yelling at George Seifert. Remember Seifert standing there, Steve Young's behind him. And I was six thinking, Steve Young's going to knock him out. (laughs) He's going to knock him out. And Uh I was like, whoa, I can't, I thought everyone got along on this team. This is, I I grew up. I think I grew up on that, on that, on that day. I've never Uh seen Jimmy be like that. They talk about angry Jimmy. I've never seen that. All I see is shrug it off, smile it off. And that bothers me. Yeah, I, I I see where you're going with that, that and that does make sense. He it's nice because he comes back from his mistakes and and picks up so well. And I think part of it is because of that that mentality. But yeah, it'd be nice to see him want to chew somebody out for yeah. for making a mistake or just you know if chew out Shanahan for example for pulling him out of a, of a drive. You know if he's doing well, you know can you imagine like on Sunday he's doing really well and all of a sudden they pull him out and something happens and he starts chewing out Shanahan. That would be that'd be amazing. Yeah, or you know hold himself to a little bit of a higher standard. I mean, mm-hmm. I think he's basically his mind. I can't get in his mind, but it's like, you know, I'm playing the game I love. I got about ninety million dollars. It's great, you know. I can't, I, I can't complain. It's like, dude, come on, man, stop throwing picks to linebackers. How about that? <laughs> there you go. I mean, you could be so much more than a good-looking, handsome, rich NFL quarterback. You could be a good quarterback. You could be a franchise quarterback if it just meant a little bit more to you. And I'm not. I don't know that it doesn't. It just you don't show that it does. And I think that's why part of the reason, part of the reason that you're not necessarily a franchise quarterback here anymore. Yeah, his out. Oh, I lost you, Jack. You see me now? Say it again. Say it again. What'd you say? I, I was just going to say his his outward his outward expressions just don't show it. And maybe he has it underneath, but we just don't see it. And exactly. His outward expression, to me, comes across as the temperament of a backup. You know, uh, hey, I'm yeah. just happy to be. I, I'm starting, man. This is great. I do a pick. That's so, <laughs> all right. Well, uh-huh. hey, still pay me 27 million, right? We're still. I still got to pay me. 20, oh, we're good. We're good. Uh-huh. That's all I'm saying. Sorry, Let's go get him on the next please. play, guys. Yeah, uh-huh. like, prove me wrong, man. Like, hold, Steve Young wanted to be great. Do you want to be great? I could. Everyone could see that Jeff Garcia wanted to be great. Do you want to be great, Jimmy? Mm-hmm. Or are you like, man, this is the freaking life. I love this. This is. The- <laughs> Steven says, Hasty will develop to be the most physical, most smash mouth running back we'll have on that roster. Look at how he runs, punches through Lynch Bob. I love Hasty too. I love how excited Niner fans get on the on the backups. I love the the, the rags to riches stories on this team. Oh, they loved Jermichael Hasty. They loved yeah. him last year too. And I think he's going to be a better player this year. You got to love the undrafted free agents. Those are some of the best stories on it. I, I like the whole undrafted free agent thing in the NFL. Most of these guys are are like Nick Bosa's and Eric Armstead's and they're They've been um, ranked by rivals since they were 14. And then mm-hmm. you got these other guys who just had no one really pushing them or h- hyping them up. And they work outworked people like Dante Pettis and Jalen Hurd, you know, it's a good story. Yeah. I yeah. like that. All right. For sure. Let's move. Let's move along here. Why do I always have to take a shot at Dante Pettis? He didn't do anything. I'm <laughs> he's sorry, not even, he's not he's not even, even here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 